Hello, welcome to chapter 12, lesson four. Today we're gonna to be relating bar graphs to scaled picture graphs, okay? So we've talked about scaled picture graphs, we've talked about scaled bar graphs, so now we're gonna kinda of do both. So I just wanted to put a little picture here, this is from a problem we're gonna do, but here's our picture graph, remember the key. The key is the key thing to look at. And then we have our bar graph over here where we would do um, title, label, label. So we have our title. Um, and then this looks like it's gonna be a horizontal bar graph. So we would have some bars going this way. I could figure it out because we have this stuff here, but we're gonna do that in a future problem. So let's get started. Ishi counted the number of each type of fish in her fish tank. The scaled picture graph, why is it scaled? Because of the key, um, displays the data. Write a few sentences that interpret the data, then answer the questions. Okay, there are blank jewel fish. Okay, each one equals two, two, four, six, eight. So I have eight jewel fish. Number of catfish is two. If she has blank tetras and blank loaches, hmm, never heard of these. Here we have half a fish, which means if one fish is two, half of a fish would be one. So I have two and one to make three tetra and two, four loaches. Altogether, if she has blank fish. Okay, so we have eight, two and four makes six. Six and three makes nine. Eight and nine makes 17 total fish. What kind of fish does Ishi have the fewest of? Catfish. So these are all um, interpreting the data. That's what we're doing here. We're saying, okay, how many of those are there? Okay, uh, how many total fish are there? What kind of does she have the fewest? That's catfish. So here are all of our interpreting the data sentences. Is she has twice as many blank as loaches. So she has four loaches, twice as many as four would be eight. Now we know that she has eight jewel fish. So jewel, J-E-W-E-L-F-I-S-H, as loaches. Okay, are there more or less jewelfish than catfish, tetras, and loaches combined? So if I take tetras, three, catfish, two, loaches, four, I would get seven, nine. We would get nine of these. And jewelfish, there are eight. So are there more or less jewelfish? So I'd say there are less jewel fish. Than catfish. Tetras, it's kind of a fun name. And loaches combined. All right. So there we have it for this one. This is all we are interpreting the data here. Okay, so let's move on. Does the data change when it is displayed in a scaled picture graph to when it is displayed in a bar graph? So let's see, is the data changing? No, it's not changing at all. Our data completely remains the same. It's just how we are choosing to display it. Ishi's fish, okay? So for jewel fish, again, we have two for each fish. So we have eight fish for the jewel fish. So there's up to eight. Okay, and then the tetra, we have three. So that's gonna be halfway between two and four. Tetra, catfish is two. Fish and loach is four. Okay, so yeah, I mean, look at this. We've got the same exact data, right? Nothing changes. The scale picture graph represents the data with pictures. 
The bar graph represents the data with bars. Each scaled picture graph symbol stands for two fish. Each bar graph scale interval stands for two fish, right? Each bar is worth two more. So the data does not change when it is displayed in the scaled bar graph. It's just kind of picking again which one you'd prefer. Sometimes we do say like line graphs are for over time or there's kind of different basic rules for them, but really if you're making up the data or collecting the data, you can choose how you'd like to display it. Complete the bar graph using the data from the scaled picture graph. Okay, so always first thing I'm gonna do, check this key. Each star is worth five. Okay, each number on line on the bar graph is worth five. Okay, that's good. Um, what are these, what numbers worth? Number of stars right? Number of stars on the homework. So we have stars on the homework. These are the students and these numbers uh, represent the number of stars. So let's look. Zoe has 10 stars on her homework. So Zoe's bar should go up to 10. Lila's has five stars. So Lila's bar is gonna go up to five. Notice they should be about the same width. Um, they need to have a little space between them. And John, look at this John, five, 10, 15, 20 stars on John's homework. Hmm. He must be a hard worker. There we go. Okie dokie. So there we did. We moved our data from a picture graph to a bar graph. Okay, complete the bar graph using the data from the scale picture graph. Write one sentence about the data in the graphs. Okay, each leaf is worth three students. So the blue trail has three students. It says that they're favorite hiking trail. The red trail also has three students. Oh, you guys. Look at it. I assumed it went up by threes. Does it go up by threes? Uh-uh. I need to add. Go halfway between two and four is three. Look at that. I fell into the trap. I'm glad I caught myself. Three, six, nine. Okay, yellow trail has nine kids. Halfway between eight and ten. That shows the yellow trail as their favorite. So one sentence about the data, um, the yellow trail is the favorite trail for the yellow trail is the most popular. Let's do that. Is the most popular trail. Trail, because the most kids picked that. There's my period, don't forget your period, don't forget to start with capital letter. All right, let's move on. Complete the scaled picture graph using the data from the bar graph. Write one sentence. Okay, same, same directions here. All right, so now I have a bar graph and I'm moving it to a picture graph. What's the title? Weekend activities. Playground, we have the movies. I could just do a movie. I'm not going to be doing that for a while. Uh, and playing with friends. Okay, so each, let's do hearts. Just because I'm good at hearts here. Don't want to draw something too elaborate. All right, so how many people chose playground? Ten did. So if each heart is two votes, I need to draw five hearts. One two, three, four, five. Okay, and four people chose movie. If each heart is two votes, then I need to do two hearts. And eight chose friends. Two, four, six, eight. So notice how I tried making them all about the same size 
and I kind of tried stacking them on top of each other as best I could so it's easy to look at to compare. So there we have our scaled picture graph. Okay, problem solving. The bar graph shows the number of letters in the third grade spelling words. Refer to the bar graph for exercises three and four. Here we go. How many letters do most of the spelling words have? Most of how many letters? Here's the letters, and this is number of words that have those letters. So five, how many letters do most of the spelling words have? Most of the spelling words have five letters. Spelling words have five letters. All right, next, make a plan. What might the key for a scaled picture graph that displays the same data be? Give two possible scales. So like in the last one we've done, the key was two or the key was three. So let's look at our numbers here. So we have a one, okay, a six, a five, 16, 12, and two. Okay, so if these are all the numbers we're looking at, most of them are even, so two would be a good scale, right? Because if it's two and then it's an odd number, you just go halfway between, that's easy to find out. So two would be a good scale to choose and then also, let's see. Hmm, could we do three? Let's see, three is kind of hard because how would you differentiate between one and two? Um, but I'm thinking that's probably going to be our best choice. Um, you could also do three. Kind of. I mean, one would be fine too, but um, let's do two or three. And notice they did do two here. So two would probably be your best bet if this is what you were looking at with your data. All right, test practice. Which information is needed to complete the bar graph? So we have our favorite color of t-shirts. We have our colors, blue, red, orange, and green. Can you tell me how many votes they got? How many people voted for blue? How many people voted for red? And why did they choose the color representing red to be orange and the color representing orange to be yellow? That makes no sense. Blue and green match up just fine, but red is orange and orange is yellow? No sense at all. Anyways, we don't know how many people voted, right? Look at, we're missing the number scale. We're missing the scale on that side that says, okay, this is for three people. This is for eight people, you know, whatever it is. So we don't have the scale of the graph. We're missing that, right? We have a title, we have the color of shirts, the color of the color with the least shirts. Hmm. We've got all that information, we just don't have our scale, which is the numbers that go along the side. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. See you later.